best gear is the gear you have on you. And TGIF, guys, it's your Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another Friday Pocket Dump. Guys, if you've been following along, you know this is the series where I like to bring you into my EDC journey. We all get together and we take off all this gear that we've been wearing all week. So, you know, as the week draws to an end and the weekend draws near, guys, it's time for the Friday Pocket Dump. This is the seventh series or the seventh video in this series, sorry, where I'm basically going through sort of my EDC journey with you guys, inviting you in to take a look at how my carry is changing week to week. Some of the things that I've settled on. I know if you guys have been following along with the other videos, you know, some things I have sort of settled into and uh, they're just sort of a part of my carry right now. And so, you know, I just want to invite you guys along to kind of just share in this journey with me. I do have a couple of new things to show you this week. I'm carrying a new knife. It's one I've got a review coming up on. And so, you know, normally in these videos, what I'll do is we'll go over to the bench and I'll show you the on-body carry where I'm carrying everything. And then we'll take a look at everything in depth and I'll kind of show you guys, you know, uh, what I'm carrying, if there's anything different. A lot of it is still the same. And so I, I won't, you know, bore you with those details, but the newer stuff I'm going to kind of go over in my thought processes, uh, you know, of why I'm carrying these things now. I did want to try one more thing. I want to try a magic trick. So I want you to guess a number between one and 10. Before the video is over, I want you to comment your number in the comments down below. Okay. At the end of the video, I'm going to guess the number. And if I get it right, you have to subscribe. Deal? Is it a deal? All right. So uh, let's go over to the bench and get into it. Okay. So I'm going to really quickly just go over everything that I'm carrying and where I'm carrying it. And before I did that, I did want to say, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thank you so much for stopping by. Really, really appreciate you stopping to watch one of my videos. If you're a returning viewer, hey, great to see you again. It's always great to see you guys. I hope everybody's doing well, and I hope everybody's getting ready for a great weekend. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and get into this carry. And of course, you know, we'll always start um, with the left hand side, and I'll just go as always, just go around the body from uh, left to right. And so as always, I have the Tick Watch Pro. Again, guys, as I have said, a lot of my carry has not changed. And so, you know, those things I'm not going to bore you with a lot of the details. The iMini 2, of course, always have that around my neck. So, uh, yeah, we'll save that. I'm going to go ahead and go around to the key ring. And I just carry sort of a basic HK ring with just one of these old key keepers on it. And then I do have a titanium quick release key for the car key. Uh, so that's the keys. Uh, there is one thing that changed there. I did have the uh, titanium fly bar on there, but I've taken that off. It has a new home now. And I'll show you where that is in just a second. So over here in the uh, back left pocket, I'm carrying the Olight. Warrior Mini 3. Great little flashlight, good EDC light because uh, it's got a uh, tail cap operation and it does have a uh, push button on it as well. And it gives you a lot of different options. A uh, lower moonlight mode that's good for EDC, but it does have a super, super bright. I'm not going to activate it right now, but it has a super bright uh, beam there too. So great little EDC flashlight from Olight, of course. And uh, another thing from Olight here, we've got the uh, O-Hank, of course. Always have that in the back pocket. Going around further to the left, of course, got my uh, Mirrodin Tactical Wallet. Always, you know, I always have that one on me. And, uh, okay. And uh, in honor of Ed Calderon, I've got my Bic Crystal Pin, of course, in the back pocket there. <laughs> if you know, you know, guys, if you know, you know. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Got the, uh, tactical front pocket from my good buddy, Knife Eye King. 
and uh, I did change up my carry in it a little bit. I put the fly bar in here. I relocated it. I, was, I actually had a redundancy there where I was carrying two different pry bars and I realized there wasn't a lot of sense in that. So changed that up a little bit. And the knife that I'm carrying right now is the one that I've got up coming up for review. So be sure to be looking for this one. Great little knife. I, I, I love it. Uh, I've had it for a while and I've carried it a, a lot. It is uh, one of my just one of my favorite little knives. It's the Demco AD 20.5. This is the Tanto. Was a uh, special edition. And a super nice little knife. We'll talk a little bit more about that one in just a second. And uh, it, of course, guys, you know, I do always have the Taurus G3C on me. And of course, it is unloaded. I do have it on safe. And as always, I have it in the gun and flower holster here. <clears throat> we'll just go ahead and reholster that. Put that over here on the workbench. Also, um, still rocking the Vism, Vismix. Sorry, I mispronounced that several times in my last video. I'm still rocking the Vismix tactical belt. Love it. I, I really, really love this system. And uh, of course, oh, I almost forgot over here, got the uh, spare mags or spare mag, sorry, spare mag. And of course, if you guys saw the last pocket dump, you know that I was uh, trying to figure out a way to carry the tourniquet on my belt uh, because the Vismix tactical belt has the hook on the outside. Well, this tourniquet that I'm carrying, the Rhino tactical tourniquet ha has loop on the inside. So... It just allows me to carry my tourniquet actually around my waist. Again, guys, I'm going to keep preaching this. If you don't have a tourniquet, get one. And learn how to use it. Oh, yeah, almost forgot <laughs> to add it tucked in the other pocket. The Lighter Bro Pro. Always got to have that. And something new that I just got. And I'm super excited about this. It's something that I've really been wanting to get into. Uh, fixed blade carry knives. Um, you know, I've had a lot of experience with folders, but I've sort of been getting into uh, the fixies lately. And right now I'm rocking a uh, SOCP dagger on this side, offhand carry. Of course, it, guys, check out the video I did on the unboxing of that. And I did talk a lot about the concept of a sidearm retention knife. So make sure you check out that video. I'll put a link to it. I'll put a link to it over here and uh, check out that video if you want to learn more about sidearm retention knives or small arms retention knives. Sorry. But yeah, this one is an SOCP dagger. Um, just did an unboxing on that. I've uh, been carrying around a little bit. Super cool little knife. Um, can't wait to talk about that one a little bit more. And then, uh, you know, like I said before, I am still carrying the Vismix tactical belt. This is part of their tactical belt system where you have a larger gun belt that will Velcro onto this one on the outside. And uh, so far, guys, it's been working out really well for me. I like it a lot. It um, One of the things that I do love about it is it allows me to attach that tourniquet to the outside of it. And uh, that's just a game changer for me to be able to have that so accessible, so handy and already ready to deploy. That's the thing, guys. You don't have to take any rubber bands off. You don't have to undo anything on it. I mean, it is just ready to go. I would encourage uh, anybody that's law enforcement or that type of um, line of work maybe to look into this type of system. So if you have a buddy who's law enforcement, maybe uh, direct him to that video, the Vismix tactical belt system. It's really cool. And it folds up into a nice little, rolls up into a nice little roll too. So that's another perk of it. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the bench here and I'll let me make sure I got everything out of my pockets. Oh, yeah. And uh, of course, guys, I've talked about them in other videos, but these are my favorite jeans. Uh, I've got the light wash on. These are the Kenneth Cole reaction jeans that have so many pockets. I forget that I have stuff in them all the time. So, yeah, it makes it a lot of fun on laundry day where you have to go through and make sure you got everything out. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, so let's let's uh, take a look at uh, the bench here. 
Okay guys, so we're over here at the bench and I just wanted to really quick give you a little overview of the madness that is in my pockets this week. You can see why I look, uh, probably why I so much look forward to the uh, Friday pocket dump because it gives me a chance to take all this gear off. Anyway guys, I, you know, like I said before, not a whole lot of changes to my carry. You know, some of the things that I, I'm probably going to just always have until it breaks, you know, the tick watch it's just something I always have in my pockets. The uh, I'm in two, always have that on around my neck. And you know, the keys, they kind of come and go whether or not I'm out of the house. The lighter bro, always have that on me. The Warrior Mini 3, this is something new I've been working on um, carrying. And I'm having a, I'm really, really enjoying carrying this. It has a lot of neat features that make a, a good EDC light. And it's not very big, but it has a very, very bright beam. It is, like I said before, it's tail, ca tail cap operated, but it also is button operated. And the button operation gives you some options as far as uh, the lower light settings. The tail cap only has two settings, and that's a, like a medium and a really, really high, which is the turbo through here. Uh, I, I do have a video on this one if you are not familiar with the operation of the Warrior Mini 3. Be sure and check that video out. It tells you how to operate it. Still carrying the tactical front pocket, of course. Always have that in my pocket. I love it. I mean, carrying the uh, pin that I got from Good Guy with a Gun. And I swapped out the pry bar with the uh, fly bar from Flatanium. Really love that. And of course, got the Odical driver and a EDC flashlight in here. Also, my EDC knife that I'm carrying this week has changed. And I am carrying the Demco AD 20.5 Tanto. Really, really like this knife. Got a review will be coming up on it shortly. Like I said, I, I like to carry it for a little bit and kind of get a feel for the knife before I do the review. But, you know, I, I, I love the Demco's. I am a Demco affiliate. So, you know, if you do want to get a Demco, check the link down below. I have an affiliate link down there if you want to sort of in, in, indirectly support the channel. But yeah, love, the, love that knife. The uh, action on them are just so smooth. Again, guys, still carrying the Gun and Flower Kydex holster with the Ulti Clip. It's the uh, plain old GMW neoprene mag holsters. They work just fine for me. And, of course, the Rhino Rescue Tactical Tourniquet. This one is a combat tourniquet, like I said before. And I, I plan on getting one in. I recommend a soft tourniquet type for everybody. But uh, yeah, that's uh, my carry this week. So, uh, you know, like I said, not a whole lot's changed. I'm, I'm kind of settling into some things. The SOCP dagger is a new thing for me. I just got it in, just did an unboxing on it. But uh, I, I really, really like this thing. I love the history behind it, the design that went into it. Um, I cheaped out and didn't get the Benchmade model yet, yet Benchmade. But I, I do, I, I promise, guys, I'll try to get one, okay? But, but when I can get one for like 20 bucks, that's the same kind of steel and it's the same design. It just makes it a little harder to spend $180 on one. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to uh, harp on that. Anyway, super cool little addition to the carry. And I'm looking forward to getting used to carrying that one. I did have this hat on. I, I'm not sure where it came from. It says HT on it. So let's see. Highland Tactical. Okay. Yeah. Just a nice little. You know, cap if you like wearing caps. And, of course, still carrying the, and loving, the Vismix tactical belt. So, anyway, guys, I don't know. Uh, I'd love to see what you're carrying. You know, part of this is uh, I would love to have an interactive element. So, let me know what you think about the carry. How it, Is my EDC approaching acceptable levels? A am I getting close to, because for me, this all is starting to feel really good. I'm starting to get really comfortable with what I'm carrying. You know, like I said, my knife's going to change from week to week, but that it really just depends on what I have coming up for review. And pocket knives to me are, are, are a lot interchangeable. You know, there are some of them that have their own differences, but for the most part, um, you know, most of the pocket knives I have are sort of on an even keel, I would say. Um, so anyway, guys, let me give you my final thoughts. Let's go back to the chair. So, yeah, like I said, guys, a couple of new things made it into the carry this week. You know, a couple of new toys to play with, a couple of new concepts to work on. But uh, let me know what you think about the carry. It, of course, as always, any gear that you saw in the video will be 
I'll have a link to it in the description down below if you'd like to pick one up for yourself. Um, you know, I highly recommend getting something like a SOCP dagger, guys. I, I just, I think it's a shame I haven't had one until now. <laughs> That's really how I feel about it. But I, I hope you guys have had a great week this week. I hope everybody's geared up for a good weekend this weekend. I hope everybody's going to be safe and have fun, which is definitely possible at the same time. Um, so, you know, this week, not a lot of changes to the carry. Do have a couple of... Um, you know, a couple of key changes, but not a whole lot really that I've changed. And I feel like I'm kind of settling into a, a sort of a stable EDC for me. So how are you feeling about your EDC? Uh, you know, do you, you feel there's some places where you could improve? Are there some things that you're wanting to work on? Are there some knives you've been wanting to research or, you know, hear about? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, subscribe you know i'm always doing gear reviews i am constantly researching gear like right now i've been doing a lot of research into navy seals and special operators former cai guys uh inspired a lot by the sean ryan pod podcast uh, the sean ryan show and be sure and check him out if you haven't watched any of his videos he's got some really really good really good content but uh, he has all, a lot of operators on there and he has Everybody does a pocket dump and man, I have seen some really eye opening stuff on there. Ed Calderon's pocket dump was just like life altering, you know, like mind changing. But, um, so it's got me doing a lot of research into EDCs. I want to, I want to come up with the ultimate EDC, just the best all around gear for me. And I think a lot of us are on that same kind of journey. So, you know, if you want to follow along on the journey, be sure and, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you'll be notified of our big 500 subscriber giveaway where we're going to be giving away all this stuff over here. It should be coming up in a couple of weeks, guys. I'm waiting on one more, one more person to send something over. So uh, as soon as I get that in, we will be doing it. I, 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 I swear to you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching all the way through to the video. And, uh, you know, let me know. Over on Instagram, be sure and go follow us over there at Average Gear Review, all lowercase, and post your Friday pocket dump with the hashtag TGIF pocket dump. And uh, what was there? Something I'm forgetting? Oh, yeah. The magic trick, right? Hold on, let me think. Really hard. Gotta concentrate. Gotta really concentrate. Okay, while well, I try to think of the answer, thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I really do appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Remember what I always say, always be caring, and the best gear is the gear you have on you. The number was seven. Was it seven? If I was right, you have to subscribe. We made a deal. You can't back out. No, you said, but you said if I guessed it. <laughs>